It's ridiculous to compare trance to jazz, but that's exactly what this Deadmau5 fan was trying to do. I can't remember his full name, but he's one of these people that are kind of uncreative in the sense of uh, they can't figure out a username other than putting a whole bunch of numbers at the end of something that's already existing. But uh, whatever. What is, what is it? It's uh, Deadmau5 fan 54675435. Nice. Anyway, this guy was trying to compare trance to jazz. I've seen other trance fanboys try to do this in the past, but I never really had a chance to respond. Trance is a very, very narrow classification of music. Jazz, on the other hand, is a very open, very diverse classification. Although it does have limits, too. Otherwise, I mean, it wouldn't even be a classification. Jazz isn't locked down to any one timing, nor is it locked down to any one time signature. Trance, on the other hand, is very locked down. If either the timing or the time signature changed, it would no longer be trance. It'd be something else. A song's time signature is basically the way that you can count it out. A trance song is typically, well, is always 4-4. Four, four. You can count it out in 4. A waltz you can count in 3. 1-2-3, 1-2-3. Some jazz uses multiple timings and multiple time signatures, and is very, very complex. But this guy is seriously going to try to compare trance to Bill Buford or Alan Holdsworth? The rhythm in trance is basically the same in every song. There are some variances, but they're not really big enough to call any sort of major change in the rhythm. I mean, the songs have breaks in them once in a while, and the rhythm will kind of stop, and then it'll build up, and then it'll be right back to where it was, exactly where it was. The same repetitive, repetitive, repetitive thing. I've never heard a jazz song use a bass line where it's just one note, and only that one note played the same way over and over again through the whole song, like like what you might hear in a trance song. I've heard the trance songs where it's... For ten minutes. Yay! Except for those those little drum breaks, and then you, you get a kind of a break from that monotony, but then it comes right back, of course. Nor have I heard the accompaniment in a jazz song play this tiny little section over and over and over again for ten minutes. Uh, you know, if... If the song has those elements in it, it's probably not jazz. It probably couldn't even be called jazz. It's too simplistic and too redundant. Now, I'm not saying all trance has that type of bass line. There is lots of kind of varied bass lines, and even some trance songs don't even have a real bass line. It's just some noise of some kind in the background that fills the lower tones. But if it goes too far outside of that, and it really started to sound like a jazz bass line, it probably wouldn't be called trance anymore. It's hard to picture a generic jazz song, unless you're someone who's so unfamiliar with jazz that you think uh, smooth jazz that you hear on the on the uh, adult uh, contempt. No, it's not even adult contemporary. What is it? It's uh, uh, easy listening. Yes, if you think the the uh, smooth jazz you hear on easy listening is 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 what jazz is, then yeah, uh, you might have a, a kind of a skewed view of jazz. There's no typical rhythm. There's no typical bass line. There's no typical way the chords are played or, or arpeggios are done in jazz. It's, it's really too varied to uh, nail it down to any one kind of sound. He also compared trance to classical music. Yeah, he went there. Yep, Beethoven, Bach, Mozart. Yep, they're, it's, trance is all that. Oh, let's, yeah. No, no. It's not. Look, just because a song has a classical sample, a sample of a classical song in it for, for a moment, uh, doesn't make the song as, as diverse and dynamic as the real song, as the real classical song. It's still just a sample of, of a classical song thrown on top of a, of a trance song. I sure hope trance remixes aren't your only exposure to classical music. Look, trance music is designed to dance to. It does its job well. It has a great beat to dance to. I sometimes find myself tapping my foot to it even if it's out of boredom. But don't try to make it sound like it's any more than that, like it has some great significance in contrast to other styles. Trance is exciting! 
Yeah, I suppose it might be exciting if you somehow manage to turn your brain off in order to listen to it. But if you manage to think about what the music is doing at all, trance is pretty much the most boring music out there. Well, maybe not the most boring. I'm sure there's something else out there that's more boring, but it's pretty damn boring. I stand by my decision to put Katy Perry and Keisha over trance music. I mean, I'm not trying to put them up on some sort of pedestal, like we should, you know, oh, look up to them as, you know, that's great music, because, I mean, their stuff is incredibly simplistic. But, you know, part of me has this thing for songs that uh, are somewhat catchy, as long as they're not really irritating. I'm just saying that most pop on the radio has more going on than most trance. I think trance is one giant cliché. Look, I don't have a problem with people listening to whatever music for whatever reasons. If it makes you happy, it makes you happy. People should enjoy what they enjoy. I'm not trying to rain on anyone's parade or piss on anyone's Cheerios. I'm not one of these elitist types who thinks that you have to listen to, you just have to listen to music for all these deep reasons. I mean, hell, I, uh, I don't pay that much attention to the words the first time around when I listen to songs. Most of it for me is the music. I've, I mean, I've said this before, but, you know, if, if a song had any deep meaning in the lyrics, I usually miss it the first couple times I'm listening to it. So I'm not one to talk about uh, trying to listen to music for deep reasons or whatever, you know. Look, if you like trance, have at it. But just don't try to compare it to jazz or classical because you have no idea what you're talking about.